the horizon is not level with the window. Oh, maybe it's the window that's not level with the horizon. Maybe that's it. Good. How about you? All right. How was your rudder? Sir? How was your rudder now? Uh, right full. Uh -huh. What speed you got to run that? Uh, I got 25 knots, sir. Is this fun stuff or what? Yes, sir. Now, these two guys are helicopter pilots. Yeah, uh, you can tell. How can you tell that? Well, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe in the hangar, having cigars. Having a cigar in the hangar. It's uh, Paul Berg and uh, Bob Burris. These guys uh, served with me on uh, when we I was on the Duncan okay. down in Mazatlan. August of '92. August of '92. Yeah. Just uh, that was a wild time. And then we were on this ship. Uh, we were on here in April. That's right, early Four, April this April year. 94. Now, you're still the safety observer for the squadron? Well, that was that specific evolution. Okay. I, I'm also was the XO at the time, and because the cell was tarsal, flip flop, <laughs> I think I got fired. And now? Now, now I'm just me until next May, and then I become the XO again. Ah. It's, it's a wonderful yeah, life. Yeah, that's right. It just means I get to keep flying that much longer. That's good. Well, I live in Detroit, oh. so you got to come over to Detroit. I thought you lived in Pacific Palisades. I did. We, we moved from Pacific Palisades a year ago. Uh huh. We live on Union Lake, which is about 40 miles out from Detroit. Now, what kind of helicopter did you bring with you this time? An SH-2G. Oh, and that's the... Last the... time it was an SH-2F, so we have the, the, the latest and greatest and most expensive. I thought you brought a G last time, because you I were telling a G, me... G in April. Uh, the G has a, a lot more horsepower. You carry more fuel or more torpedoes uh, or both. Fuel. Well, it's same. It's, everything's the same there except we have more horsepower, a better processing capabilities, and all around better aircraft. We stay up longer. We have the same amount of fuel. Uh, that's what I've heard about helicopter pilots, pilots, but I never really believed it. Yeah. Better stay in power. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> okay, now what were you saying? About what, now, you have a debt in, in the. We're the, heading the, for the Caribbean right now. Uh huh. And they're down there because the active duty fleet. Support them, so they're sending the reserves because down. they don't have enough people. Well, they don't have the aircraft, they don't have the, aircraft, they don't have the assets. assets. Uh -huh. The ships they don't have enough ships in the, on the east coast, so they're going the west coast ship over there. Okay, so if we lose, we're cut out. You know, eventually, that hope funding cuts. What happens when we go to a pinch? Another Cuba or another Hades? Or have to go to Korea and fight a war there at the same time. We're happens. policing the Caribbean. We also we have the best ASW capability of any naval aircraft. Because you have the SH-2G, which has the, the 503 processor, the ability to, to monitor the uh, the high number of buoys and process it and send information to the ships as well. Actually, we can process it faster than the ship can process it. Uh -huh. we, have, we have better equipment than the 
Okay. Yeah, they're moving the day to the SA. Wow. They're spending 30, 30 million dollars a copy for an SA60. Of course, that's an IBM product, that SH-60, uh, so... <laughs> that's it. But they're looking to... The Navy's purchased, a, I don't know, a dozen or so 503s that they're going to retrofit on their own into the 60s. Uh -huh. And then do a comparison study, see what... Uh -huh. know, when the work about, see how well they can do. Good idea. So, I mean, we could process more. We can do the diesel boats where the... Well, you are, you weren't up. Uh, we just did an ASW exercise with a with a Chilean diesel boat. You weren't in that, were you? No, we were, some, I don't know, we, we were, were asked to do it. I don't know what happened about that. Probably we, a chip light. Well, we had at the time we would have we had uh, four deaths at sea at times, so we uh -huh. didn't have the assets. We had everybody. Everybody went to Hawaii. We did a uh, varsity player okay. reserve exercise, so I don't know if we had the assets. Uh -huh. But we went against the uh, Canadian diesel. Okay. And you, well against it. Are you done? I just worked with Tisdale on. Uh, now, are you guys, uh, you're done flying for tonight, right? Yeah. This is uh, this is not considered crew rest time, though. No, no, we're, we're just sit sitting here waiting to take the uh, Wait for the next tasking the staff or back to the beach tomorrow morning. All right. So, but you have to get eight hours well, then? No, actually, we were waiting for you guys to finish talking to the board so we can watch some movies and popcorn. Right. I yeah. noticed that you had the, the popcorn corner and, and I couldn't get at it. Uh, I asked the commodore to stop at me so I could watch my movie, but he, he didn't, uh, didn't look at that favorable. Well, you know, since my last weekend on board, I'm really taking advantage of all the possibilities, <laughs> including eating the popcorn. And okay, so when's the next movie? It's uh, 2126. When's the next movie start? You know, I, I don't know. I'm a reserve officer. We don't watch movies. <laughs> now, you flew in from Chicago to San Diego this weekend. You came in Friday night? Friday morning. Friday morning. Okay. And I'll be going out. Leaving tomorrow. I'm leaving Sunday night at 930. You're taking a red eye back? Yeah, but I'm going to Florida. Got a business meeting in Florida for four days. Correct. In Boca, Boca Raton. Oh, yeah. I, had, I was going to, going to fly into Palm Beach International, PBI. Just don't take air, uh, US Air. <laughs> no kidding. In Chicago, too. I know. I, I asked, and none of my friends were on board did that you flight. See on, um, it was the Deputy Secretary for Transportation decided that he, he was waiting for one of his friends, and he didn't show you, so he decided to take the next flight out. Well, he would have been on that plane. Wow. He was Assistant or Deputy Secretary for Transportation. Pretty perky. That's wow. tough. I've done that. Yeah. I go back on Mondays now. I go. I fly. I take a new flight back on Monday. I work Monday morning in the squad, and then I take a new flight out. So, idea. Go back. so this is your uh, golf yeah, version yeah, of the yeah, aircraft. Yeah. Huh? Like, uh, different engine. If you take pictures of the last time, this is yeah. exterior you, improvements. You, you can tell it's a more it's a more bulbous engine. The other yeah. ones are flatter. Right? Got a, yeah. a, lot, a heck of a lot more horsepower. Uh -huh. A lot more, more reliable. Is there a lower maintenance uh, pattern so on this far aircraft? It's been, uh, we've done pretty well with it. Probably about dropping up 50%. The life, <coughs> the life of the engine is far longer than what the other aircraft had. Mm -hmm. The gearbox is having a better life. Yeah. We're, we're some wood to knock on. Yeah. <laughs> the, big, the biggest advantage of this aircraft is that it can uh, operate better single engine. Stay airborne for probably about 30 minutes to 40 minutes longer, depending on the configuration. Uh, you just spent a weekend, uh, a day and a half now, on the John A. Moore. Uh, what'd you think? I loved it. It was great getting back out to sea, which were for sailors. Should be. And, uh, the best thing about it was uh, was the crew, and seeing uh, how both the reserves and the active duty worked uh, together. Blended together certainly was not apparent to me who, who was the active duty the regular Navy, who was the full-time TARS, who was the cell res. It uh, certainly shows that we've come a long way in getting the total force and moving in a direction where we're all one, one service and uh, we're going out to do the, the thing that's going to see and get the job done. Thanks. Thank you very much. What's your name and what do you do? Seaman Maynard. And, uh, I'm a chalk and chain slash LSC. So you're a, well, a blue shirt is a chalk and chain person? That's affirmative. Ah, okay. And the yellow shirt is the LSC. And you're the LSC? That means, yes, sir. what's that stand for? LSC is a landing signal enlisted. And what is that, what do you do? What's your I, job? Uh, give the commands for the pilot to uh, come on deck, uh -huh. land him, take him off. I uh, give uh, 
directions to, uh, to uh, for hyphers. For positioning the aircraft okay. and giving them some advice, letting them know where he sits on the air on the on Actually, the deck. They know what they're doing when they come in here. I'm just for just for some advice. Good. And your name is. Uh, HT3 Abel. Abel, and you're wearing a red vest, and a red vest yeah. means fire. The fire team. So if there's a fire in the aircraft, you're going to be one of the guys putting the fire out. That would be correct. Be rescue good. the air crew, keep ordnance from cooking off, and put out fire. Pretty good. How long did? How much training did you get to be uh, a uh, part of the uh, crash and rescue team? Uh, actually, it was just a weekend course held here at 32nd Street Navy Vice in Aviation Fire One of your, one of your reserve weekends you went to the Aviation Firefighting School. That is correct. Okay. Down here too, which one? Water break. On. Okay, I'm this here. Lay your lever. It helps out. It's a pre-fight checklist. It's an important part of uh, any aircraft's takeoff, and uh, especially including where the coffee maker is and whether that's on. What was that question? What's that, sir? What'd you ask him? Uh, if we was doing any more deck landings. I think you guys got enough to get your uh, hazardous duty pay this yeah. month. How many damn landings do you have to do to get hazardous duty pay? I believe it's uh, eight. Eight? Eight just day landings. It doesn't matter for day or night. Good. Just eight landings. And there they go.
little flyby for the video. Put the uh, crash nets back up and uh, we're on our way.